Hi boys and girls, today we are going to play a different version of grab and count. So today we are learning to compare the numbers that we are counting. So I'm looking for you to count your numbers out and then I am going to look for you to tell which is the biggest number. So before we get started, um, if you cannot print and if you don't have the supplies that are needed for Savas, I'm gonna show you a different version of how to play. You're gonna get your number cards that we made previously in the year. You're gonna get counters. It could be anything. I'm using Connect Four counters. You're gonna get paper and something to write with. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my first number. So my first number is three, okay? I'm going to put three in a line and then I'm going to count one, two, three. After I count my three, I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to write my number three. I'm going to do this four times. Okay. So my second round, six. So now what I'm going to do when I'm counting, I'm going to make sure that I'm kind of lining them up because I want to make sure that I can see which one is going to be the longest, which one is going to be the most. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, this one goes off my paper. So I'm going to write, oh, you know what? Sorry guys, I'm writing backwards. I wrote that backwards. Six. I'm going to go my next number, two. So I'm going to go one, two. And remember, I want to make sure that my bottom and my counters are lined up so it makes it easier afterwards to compare my numbers. Okay, here's two. And my last number is, you got it, four. One two, three, four, and then I'm going to write my number four down. Okay. So remember, you're going to do this four times. You're going to play four rounds of grab and count. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my counters and I'm going to think which one is the most, which one is the longest. Can you think right now, which one is the longest? Three, six, two or four. Yep, that's right. Six is right because we can see that six is my tallest line. So once you know which one is your longest, you're going to go ahead and circle the one that is the longest. Okay, once you're done, make sure you take a picture of this and submit it into Google Classroom.